My main medium has always been prints, specifically uh, etchings. And uh, as you can see by looking around my studio, um, my medium has expanded and changed. And the series that I have, I have a few examples of here. It's, uh, the title is A Consideration of the Phenomenon of Ecstasy. Um, it has in total 45 pieces, and it just grew on its own. There was not a plan of what medium I was going to use, or how many parts there were, there were going to be, or how they were finally going to be presented. Ultimately, making art is about art. And I think that in my work, people confuse it sometimes and, uh, and think that I'm doing art about religion or just historic work about St. Teresa. It's not about religion. It's about a particular person. And uh, if she doesn't, it wouldn't appear in a nun's garb, um, uh, probably we wouldn't have this association. But really, it's, to me, um, it was it was something that, that got my juices flowing, that, that made me um, do things like marble this paper, uh, uh, sort of blue-green, and arrange the leaves around the edge, because aesthetically it looked so good to me. So I'm, I'm dealing with the idea is extremely important. But how I present it and how I make it is equally important. As you can see in my work, there, there's a kind of sort of um, uh, well, a kind of perfection about some of it, I hope. It's, um, there's a kind of reduction. I work in a reductive way, starting out with lots of things and lots of ideas, and then, and then making that um, eliminating. I think that's, that's a key to how I work, as I, I begin to eliminate. But I feel it's very important that these things are as wonderful aesthetically as I can make them that they, they, they come across visually as something you really want to look at and, and that give you, um, uh, give your eye some delight. Or maybe delight's not the right word, not always delight, maybe shock, maybe. I got such an interesting comment in a gallery in Chicago when I showed this work there that uh, a woman said to me, you're so brave doing religious art. And uh, so I thought, well, that's interesting um, that she appreciates it that way. And then other people have said it's very spiritual work. And then other people have said it's very feminist work. And uh, so I don't have control anymore. So I had better make decisions that I'm happy with. Uh, and one can't predict the possibilities. But I'm not unhappy with, with any of those, really. I, I have my intentions. And when someone does understand them, I am really delighted. That, to pick up just the nuance that I meant with a piece.